Good morning, beautiful YouTube nation. Today, I'll be going to Bam Bam Bakehouse in Mermaid Beach with Jess. This is my outfit for today. So we got this flowy top. And we've got this flowy maxi dress that comes up here that ties right here as well. Yeah, so waiting for Jess to come over. And yeah, it's another beautiful day. Look at that sun. It sucks because I am like slightly sick. Not slightly sick, I'm actually sick. Like it's, it started, it started with, you know, the worst freaking sore throat. You know, when you wake up with the worst sore throat in the world, that is literally the beginning of the end. <laughs> Where it's like, you get a sore throat and then your nose starts dripping. And then you start blowing your nose a lot. And then you're just like, oh shit, I need a whole box of tissues now. And to follow me around everywhere <laughs> but yeah it's such a beautiful day today it's so sunny i love it when it's sunny and apparently today's the first day of spring so we're almost there to summer summer is my season i'm so excited because that's when i can wear all my dresses all my shorts all my like flowy tops and i won't be cold so that would be good but yeah oh I need to catch you guys up on my life. Let's let's stand somewhere. Or stand. I don't know. But I kinda wanna be in the sun to like, you know, soak up all that goodness. But yeah, so on Friday was my last day at 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 my old job. And so if you guys didn't know, I'm a graphic designer, so it's work would start at 8.30 and would finish at 5.30. But most of the time I come at around 8, 8, 10, 8, 15. And some days we would stay back. And I would hate that. And also, um, and we don't get paid for overtime work too. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, it came to a point where I literally hated sitting down um, at a desk for hours and hours. So if you think about it. I wake up at 4 a.m. to work out because that's the only time I have really because after work I just kind of just want to relax because it's an hour and something drive home like an hour and 10 minutes or something or even longer an hour and a half sometimes when the traffic's really bad but um yeah it would be the only time to work out so I had to wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning and then rush home get ready um drive like an hour or so to work and then from like 8 or so to like 5.30, I'm sitting down at a desk. And we get a 30 minute break. That is like, that should be illegal. <laughs> for sitting down for so long. From 8 o'clock. Well, it's not 8.30, but like I'm just going to say 8. From like 8 to 5.30. Is that Andrew? Who is that? Oh, hello. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Vloggy. <laughs> but, yeah. From, um, 8 to 5.30, I'm just sitting down at a desk. And it's just, like, so boring. And, although, like, I did graphic design at uni and stuff. And most people would say, oh, but didn't, didn't you study that and everything? Why aren't you doing what you're studying? But like, life shouldn't be about choosing one thing and doing that for the rest of your life. I think you should experiment with things and um, find what you really like. Because how would you know if you like something or hate something? You got to try it, right? So I tried it. Hated it. <laughs> and now I have a new job in the Gold Coast in surface. And I'm so excited because you're like talking to people and you're not freaking just I know when I was sitting down doing graphic design, sometimes I'd have no freaking damn work. And like, ugh, like I don't even want to get into like other reasons why I left. But um, yeah, it just be, I literally some days I just be like, I, re I really want to shoot myself because I'm just so bored. I'm uninspired. I'm not really doing what I like to do. And that is like talking to people, learning new things. Um, learn about traveling, um, share different like experiences and stuff with other people and just like I just like vibing off other people like you know when you talk to those certain type of people 
and like certain types of people where they I don't know they just light up the room and they just give off this amazing energy but like when you're sitting in an office for like hours and hours and you're just doing repetitive work it's just so uninspiring I'm like I cannot do this for the rest of my freaking life so yeah I'm excited to start in surfers I start on Tuesday and it's amazing it's really good because when I went for my interview my boss he seems so nice I'm like you're too nice to be my boss and I'm just like this is a good start because a lot of bosses I've had in the past it, it just you know when it's like they're your boss and you just feel like intimidated you can't really like um kind of let yourself go and like talk how you normally want to talk but in the interview that was the best interview ever I was myself I was talking about everything like what I love doing traveling and blah 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 and I'm excited to meet other people at um my new work as well oh my god holding this thing is pretty hard <laughs> um but yeah I am so excited and oh my god the sun's amazing I can't wait to summer but yeah I'm just like going to fill it out for a couple weeks months and I I'm hoping to move down because Gold Coast is life. I love the culture there. I love the food there. I love the people there. The sun, the beach, the everything. And it's just, it's just me. So I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm just waiting for Jess so we can leave and have amazing food at Bam Bam Bakehouse. I love it. I love hanging out with her and like um, going to restaurants and cafes with her because I literally cannot bring people to get food amazing food where they want to just get their own meal and eat their own meal by themselves I like taking people to amazing cafes where we decide on like three to four dishes and then I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh my god and then we share them all and that's the most amazing thing ever because like you just don't want to just get one dish or like if you really want another dish, get two dishes and like you can't finish it right. And it's like I hate dining with people where they just want it all to themselves and they don't really, they don't really want to share. Or they don't even find the fun in like, or the excitement in wanting to try new things and share new things. So, yeah. A little bit about um, where I'm at in life and stuff. But I feel like I was at a low couple weeks ago and now it's just you know how in life you just kind of always be like up here how it's like up and down up and down I was down but now life is looking like it's heading upwards <laughs> so that is that is pretty cool and I'm excited for it and another thing I'm really really proud of myself of is I've been like the whole this whole week I've been eating so healthy and I think I've I've gone to a point where I understand my body and what my body needs to not crave things and to still eat um, healthy like and be in a caloric deficit and still manage to lose weight and still have enough energy to work out and everything and have energy for work and so I'll be sharing with that you guys in another video so I've had this idea for the longest time and that is to start my own project me series so I watched Amanda Bucci's um, project me series which is still going on right now where like she lists the goals and stuff and um, she takes the YouTube world um, on her journey to like getting to her goals and everything so I really want to start that and I am determined to start this the series and I think it's gonna be like an eight week or 12 week series of getting to my goals and well I'm gonna first my first episode I'm gonna list out all my goals and how am I gonna achieve it and everything and I think every week I'm gonna vlog how I'm going and my physique and everything so I'm excited to do that I love how I'm just like I don't know for the longest time I wanted to do YouTube videos and I did it in the beginning and then I stopped and then went through a whole bunch of like different things in my life that I guess led me towards making videos again and really going for my goals because nothing ever gets done if you don't really put in the effort and actually do it because a lot of people just say what they want to do in life and 
they want to start doing things and stuff but they never actually start so i'm starting it's happening guys so yeah <laughs> funny guys I literally just said I need to poo because <laughs> I do that <laughs> and there was people in the car right next to us and I think they heard me that was so embarrassing <laughs> we finally got a table y'all okay I would fully recommend to book a table here because yeah there's a lot of people and we got away but it was a long way it's like five ten minute wait but yeah oh my gosh look at their freaking menu Freaking hell, Raji chicken croissant, like violet avocado. I'm so excited. Oh my god, we have to pick something. Can we pick something? Yes, pick up. <laughs> this is a really good area to take photos in too. So excited. Nutella Oreo hot chocolate and we've got what is it? Ice chai latte. Ice chai latte. Oh my god, so excited. It looks amazing balls. Does it not? Does it not? I love the logo how it's like a bomb. Sorry. Not a bomb a grenade. How is it? Am I supposed to stir it? Because it ain't that sweet. I don't really like it. <laughs> it's not hot enough. It's like 4 out of 10 of like rating for hotness. Really? Mm. Oh, that's so sad. McDonald's has better hot chocolate. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have the orange juice now. What's it taste like? But it kind of tastes like dish. I don't know, like soup. <laughs> wow. It's very floral-y. Okay, you try it. It's chai. That's what chai tastes like. Like okay, maybe I just don't like chai. <laughs> you like my chai from um, when I had it from um, Atkins. Yeah. 
because Marcus does it better. <laughs> Like it's really hard to eat. The bread? No, the bread. It's super crunchy. It's so I tried that. I give it a six out of ten. Kind of too sweet. If it had like a cabbage, red cabbage coleslaw type thing instead of just lettuce, it would be perfect. It just needs something to lift it. The overall rating of the place just seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. My mine would be. Oh, it's hard because we had really good dishes, then we had really bad dishes. A 7 out of 10. <laughs> 7? I would recommend getting the fries. The fries are amazing. And getting the, was it the Frere Rocher Eclair? That was amazing. And that's about it. The rest was like hit and misses. <laughs> And really bad misses. I don't like freaking that Nutella Oreo hot chocolate. That was just oh so sickly. This could be better. Huh? This could be better. Yeah, the um karag karage croissant. croissant was like too sweet. I feel. And I was missing something like refreshing. Leave it all behind.